Hey guys, it's Flinchy here, and today I'm going to be showing you my stream setting and how I can stream 720p with internet like this. This is my internet speed, so I'm getting an upload of 0.89. This is a good day, guys. I, I, I normally average like 0. Uh, 0 0.75 or 0.7 on like weekdays. So today it's gone up. It's a good day today, so I'm just going to minimize that. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to download OBS. This sort is for OBS only. I'd you can probably convert these settings over to XSplit if it's bad enough, but I would recommend OBS. It's free, and it's just my preferred streaming software, obviously. So what we're going to do is, first thing, just we're going to go and open up, go into settings, and then we'll have language English. If you're not English, you can change to your language, obviously. Then, obviously, after you've done that, you can press apply and OK. Say so, this, I'm not going to do that. And so we're going to get encoding. So for video encoding, we'll have encoder as X264, and you can have it as your graphics cards, I've got a NVIDIA, but I find that I don't drop any frames, I can stream like 1080p with this, but it's like a 6 to 10 minute delay, it's ridiculous, so just use this one, and you should have only like a top 30 to 40 second delay, probably 30, like 30 to 20 seconds I normally get, and then we're going to go use CBR, we're going to tick all these three boxes, we're going to use CBR, enable CBR padding, and use CBR custom buffer size, I read that so wrong, but yeah, then we're going to uh, quality, this should be 8 by default, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, upload, we're gonna see this as 500. Now, when streaming, it will go over 500, but that's why we said it's 500. So, if you say you got like 0 0.7, it will go over 500, but it'll still be in the green and it shouldn't drop any frames. And if you got like 0, like 1, 1 meg upload, even 500, I'll still recommend it. And at max buffer size, we said it's 1000. And our audio encoding, where does this AWC, your Kodak, AWC, uh, your format on 48 hertz. Uh, your bitrate is 64, I think default is 96, we're going to change that to 64, and your channel is stereo, and then we're going to press apply and the OK. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to leave it. Now we're going to get broadcast settings, you have your mode is live stream, your streaming service to Twitch, or whatever you're streaming to, obviously I stream to Twitch. And then for Australia, I recommend Asia Singapore, but whatever is closest to you, wherever you are, just find the closest one. I think you can test this, like Google it, but in Australia, it's Asia, Singapore. Then you're gonna have to get your same key, which is on your stream. If you go to, uh, if when you open your stream, you go to dashboard. It's just up the top there. It's just little things. So stream key, click that and you copy it into here and paste it. Now we're gonna have auto reconnect. Now so it's 10 seconds. Um, you, this is pretty much if your stream crashes, uh, like for some reason goes down, it'll reopen in 10 seconds, or you can like cancel and say, Nah, don't worry about it. But yeah, that, that's uh, good. You can obviously have this lower, like five or one second, if you're feeling real crazy. But I reckon 10 seconds is good. And delay, we're going to have a 0 seconds because Twitch has like a default, we say default, delay of like 20 to 30 seconds. So you just set that to 0. And all this, we're going to untick the minimize network impact, automatic save stream profile, and keep recording your stream stops. We're going to untick that, unless you obviously want them. You can uh, muck around with these. This is where I record, because I'm using OBS to record this right now, so this is where I'm saving it to. And my name's Joseph Beachy Dub, <laughs> if you didn't know. And we're going to have a lay buffer for size length in 1 second, and whatever this is. That set as that. This is, that's default. I'm, I'm assuming. So we just that's all good now. You can pause it if you uh, I've gone through too quickly. But we're gonna go to the next one. So then you press apply and OK. So obviously I'm gonna change it. Now for this, uh, I'm gonna change this as well because I need this for recording. Okay. So when these our video down here, we need a GPU. If you guys don't have a decent GPU, I wouldn't recommend streaming solely on your CPU like internal graphics because you just absolutely like kill your computer and halve the life of it. So then we're going to have your custom, we're going to set it as 1920 by 1080 which is just 1080p. If you got 1080p screen you can skip on it, but I don't, mine's 1600 by 900. So I put that in there. And then we're going to downscale it to 720. That's what we do here, we downscale it 720, then we press apply and OK. So I'm going to press, I can actually do that now, or you just press apply, apparently you press OK. And that's so audio, we're going to have the desktop audio, we're going to have default, or we can change the speakers, I'm so I leave it as default, so whatever you're listening to, through your ears, it'll pick that up, and that'll be the default, and your microphone, one of your mic is selected here, mine's the Kraken, it's got today, do you think I sound sexy? I think I sound pretty good, anyway, <laughs> we're going to tick force microphone, we're going to tick these two, I don't even know what they do, just tick them, and all this, you don't really need to touch this, because you won't be using it, just leave it, copy, you pause it, or whatever, do that now, and that's pretty much it for this. Hotkeys? Uh, we're going to say no. Hotkeys? I don't have any. I don't use them. I have one for mute apparently. Okay. I have one for mute, which is like my scroll wheel button. I did not use it. No, that. Okay. I remember that. But yeah, that's. You can obviously play around with these. Set, like, uh, you set uh, hotkeys for when you want to like live stream and stop streaming. But yeah, that's all good for you guys. You can set that up. 
Now advanced, so in general, we're gonna tick all these boxes in general. We're gonna set our priority to high, I think default's normal, we're gonna chuck it on high. And our screen buffering time in milliseconds, we're sitting on 1000, which is one second, I'm pretty sure. I think no, actually 10,000 milliseconds is one second. I'm not quite sure, but to set it as 1000, this won't affect your delay at all, it'll just make your stream frames look better. And then we're gonna dis dis disable and allow, just tick those two. And now for video, we're gonna use whatever this is, so the X264 CPU preset, right, preset, set to very fast, so I've got a decent, I'll say a slightly above average PC, so I'll put mine very fast, if your PC specs are a bit lower than mine, maybe faster or fast, and if they're better than mine, obviously put it up, but I just want a very fast, my specs will be in the description if you guys want to compare, and then for encoding profile, put that at main, uh, yep, I think default might be high, so yeah, just chuck it on main, keyframe interval, now this is really important, this has to be on 2, like anything else, and no, just don't do it. Just put it on two. If you have it on zero, you'll be like Blair, no, don't change it to two minimum. So put it on two, and we untick all these boxes unless you want to have it above 120 FPS or in between there. But even if you have 60 FPS, you can still have that unticked, and you can still stream fine 60 FPS. So for audio, we're gonna untick this, have this at zero. So this should be all like default. So that's pretty much done. All this, and I'm gonna explain a noise gate as well if you guys don't know what that is. So as you can see now, when I'm talking, it's above this little line here, and when I stop talking, it goes below it, so that's pretty much, when it's above this, it'll open up the noise gate, so like, if you're not talking, and you have a bit of background noise, and you don't want like the stream to hear it, it'll just go under this, and they won't be able to hear it, and then this is where it opens it, so we'll see how it goes above this when I'm talking, that means I can hear what he's saying, but I've got this disabled, so I've got a, I think this mic is good enough, my background noise is very minimal, so that's, Pretty much it, guys. That's the settings. This is how how it's done. That's how you stream 720p with the crappiest internet in the world. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this tutorial helped you. And now I'm gonna play a clip from the stream. But be sure to check out my streams in the description. And be sure to click that like button if you like to share it with your friends who are trying to stream and they're looking for some good settings. But yeah, you pretty much should drop zero frames. I streamed today for like two hours and I dropped zero frames. And I only used, I think the max my bitrate went up to was like 800 kilobits a second, which is pretty good. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, catch you later, guys.